Hello everyone, now let's just start the step 10, the GUI tools for MySQL. At first time, uh, we introduce phpMyAdmin on Linux. phpMyAdmin is a GUI tool for MySQL and web-based tool written in PHP to manage MySQL database. MySQL database. And uh, to install phpMyAdmin, we need the prerequisite program. For example, PHP 5 or above, MySQL 5 above, and Apache web server must be installed and running. To install of to install the phpMyAdmin, at first time we have to download this package RPM Forge, 32 bit and 64 bit. So at first time, please try to download this package and install. And after that, if we use this command, you install phpMyAdmin, then the Linux system will install phpMyAdmin automatically. If we are successful to install phpMyAdmin, then number D, phpMyAdmin configuration. We need this configuration. So first one, phpMyAdmin configuration file here we can find usr share phpMyAdmin config.ins.php. So if we open this file, we can find this section, blowfish secret according to the some button some button has this kind of the secret code automatically but some button does not support this kind of secret code in this case we have to visit this website if we visit this website this website will supply this kind of blow piece secret code and after that just download and paste here and access testing if we are successfully installed phpMyAdmin, then we can access like this localhost phpMyAdmin. Okay, then let's try to already this one. Okay. Okay, first one. Now let's just start. I copy here. Copy and after that, I will paste here. W get so now I'm successful to download this file. So and after that install in my case i already installed this one and after that you install php my admin like this okay in my case i already installed this package so i can see this kind of message but in your case if you don't have this one, maybe this one will the proceed the installation, the process. Okay, and after that, here, let you try to check first one PHP. And after that, MySQL. And after that, so already the PHP already installed, and the MySQL also installed already, and HTTP Apache Web Server also. So here, before we configure service HTTP, in my case, restart. Okay, I'm successful. So now let's try to configure the configuration file. USR share PHP my admin config okay here so here let's check the line number 9 number 17 here 
config blockfish secret. In my case, now I have this kind of the secret code. But the some version does not support this kind of code. In this case, you have to website. You have to visit this website. Then you can get this kind of code. And after that, authentication type here, line number 28. So you have to check here, cookie. Okay, then no problem. Let's. So now let's try to access. Uh, okay, in the web server the browser. Now I'm learning the Apache web server, so we can see this kind of the index file. So here, PHP my admin like this. Okay, here let's check root, in my case, root 1, 2, 3, 4. So here I, we can see the PHP admin. First one, let's check the database. So here we can see the discount database we already made. For example, data, data 2, MySQL, Sakila test like this. And the uh, SQL, so for example, in my case, uh, use uh, data and after that, uh, select from, in my case, name, so and after that, go. So we can see this kind of the data from this SQL queries. And uh, if we want to see the status of our the MySQL server, in this case, we can see, we can uh, check this kind of information. By uh, user controls, user management, the root and the, the other user, only in, in my case, I have only the root. And uh, if we want to use the export or import, and here also we can control setting informations and the replication variable character set engines so maybe if we the select the phmy admin i think we can control all mysql database using phmy admin okay now the step 10 gui tools for mysql the second gui tool is the workbench uh, normally what uh, workbench here, I will show you how to use Workbench on Windows. So this one, GUI tool supported by Oracle. If we install this tool, we can use SQL development, data modeling, and server administration. So if we want to download this program, we have to visit this website, mysql.com, download here. Just download this program, MySQL Workbench GPL, like this. But if we uh, want to use the uh, MySQL Workbench, in the MySQL, need to permit remote connection on MySQL using this kind of command. Grant all privileges on start at start to root percent. Here mean the remote connection. So identify and password like this. Okay, then uh, in my case, now I already uh, started this uh, uh, MySQL workbench. So at first, here SQL development and the data modeling and server administration. So first, let's try to SQL development. Here first, new connection. So in my connection then in my case sent OS 6.3 and the uh, IP address in case 192.168.5 photo number this one and username will be root and password here in my case root 1234 like this okay so I can see here but
flush okay now let's uh, test here so then password So now we can see the, this kind of the screen and uh, here we can check for example data, database name, data and the table. And the column information here, ID, host name, last name, what card and like this. So if we want to use the query here, a scale query, for example, use data and after that select from name. So in this case, control shift enter in this case we can see the this kind of result so id number first name the rest name and the town information and the current date and the zip code like this so okay one more thing here we can see the server administration okay let's try to this one okay then delete okay, and after that I will make a new one so remote host 192.168.85 okay then let's try to use this one so root 1 2 3 4 okay now I'm a successful. So here I can see the server status, the startup, and the variables, the server log, option file, and the usual information what usual control here. So we here also we can add what the delete some users like this. So and the one more thing here we can see the data modeling, for example, Sakila. So this is a kind of the modeling information. So if we want to make new the modeling, also we can use this one. Okay. So far, I show you how to use the GI tools from MySQL, such as phpMyAdmin and MySQL Workbench. Okay, uh, I'm uh, planning to the record this kind of videos. Is what well, this one will be the kind of the show courses and uh, pull courses. I'm planning to make uh, this kind of course also. So please uh, look forward to watching my video continually. Okay, thank you for watching my video and see you next time. God bless you.